In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to modify the WordPress database prefix on an existing website. To start off, you'll need to be able to connect to your server and you'll need access to your database from either the MySQL terminal or something like PHP MyAdmin. To get started, we need to connect to our server and open the wp-config.php file. Here we can see the table prefix right there. We need to change this to something uh, other than WP. I'm going to choose AB90 under slash, just because it's something uh, very strange and unusual. And if we just save those changes and hop back, uh, WordPress won't work. It'll actually prompt us to reinstall WordPress. So then you need to jump into PHP My Admin because it's time to run a few queries. To start off, you'll need to identify the database that we need to change. Uh, and if we scroll up in WP config, we can see the DB name is, in this instance, is demo DB ID LRA. Uh, back in PHP my admin, we can see this on the left hand side. Click on this. Then we need to click on the SQL icon up in the top menu. Here's the first block of SQL code that we need to run. It's basically just going to rename each of these tables that starts with WP under slash to start with AB under slash 90. Uh, when you've made the changes to this code to be specific to your website, just hit go. And if we jump back into the table view, we can see that all of those have updated correctly. There's two more commands that we need to run in SQL. The first is we need to find in the options table where the option name is wp under slash. So just use that and hit go. And here we can see we've got the very first option we need to change, wp under slash user roles. So if you just hit edit and then change this to ab90 and then hit go, that's the first part we need to do. And the second command is kind of similar once again. So back on the database and open the SQL window. Now we need to look in the user meta table and look for the WP under slash, see if it appears anywhere. Run that query. So if you look in here, there's 12 items that we need to change. Uh, WP capabilities, WP user level, uh, and so on down that list. So now it's time to make those changes. With all of these done, it's now time to go back to our website. Just try going to your website and reloading it. As you can see, everything is loaded correctly. This means that the table change has gone through successfully. It can be a little bit daunting at first, especially if this is your first foray into SQL. But rest assured, with this code, it will be very safe to perform. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments.